Okay guys, check out my dirty filter. That is from my vacuum. I have three different filters from my vacuum and um, one other white one. It's also a filter. I don't know. Anyways, um, this is just a PSA, a little friendly reminder to clean your cleaning tools. I you have to clean my vacuum um, pretty often because it does get so dusty. I use it for obviously my home. I go and clean my mom's home every once in a while, so I use it over there. And I also use it at John's office because I will go every other week and clean the office. So it gets dusty really easily, which is why I made sure I had a minimum of three because sometimes if one of the vacuum will stop working if the filter is too full of dirt and dust. So if I'm in the middle of cleaning, I would have to switch that out. So I always make sure I have at least three, but I need to get it out. Um, <laughs> this is kind of dirty too. You can't really tell because it's gray, but anyways, I'm gonna let the music play and um, you can clean along with me. You can sit down and try and think of the cleaning tools that you may have in your home that you might need to clean. But yeah, after this, I end up cleaning my um, carpet cleaner and that's even a bigger disaster than what this is. And later we warm up by the fireplace
So I'm not sure what happened here. We typically leave all of my cleaning stuff in the garage because we don't really have space in the house for it. And over time, this guy got yellow around the edges. I don't know what happened there. I just noticed it randomly one day and I like I don't leave the dirty water in there. Um, I don't clean it out as often as I should, like the bristles and stuff, but I definitely like get the dirty water out of there and stuff. So I'm not really sure. I'm thinking I might have to soak it in like baking soda and vinegar. I'm not really sure if that's gonna work. I don't know if anything is gonna work. If you guys have any tips and tricks for me when it comes to that, please let me know. It is plastic and it just looks like it's extra dirty. I don't think it's stained. It might be stained, but I don't think it got discolored just cause. <laughs> I, I don't know. I really don't know. But if you have any tricks for me that might get that back to one solid clear color, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear it. Okay guys, we are at the end now. I hope this motivated you in some way. And if not, I hope it was just some entertainment watching me clean my really dirty uh, vacuum and carpet cleaner. Next, I gotta go through my house and look at some other tools that I use regularly and see if I can get those cleaned out because it just feels so nice to have these looking fresh and clean. <laughs> But let me know what you were doing while you were watching this video down in the comments below. Also, again, don't forget to leave me any tips and tricks if you have any. And I will see you all tomorrow with my regularly scheduled cleaning motivation video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to, dis to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.